and this is the Juma Air inlet port for the pneumatic valves and this one is the liquid inlet port here are two Juma Air inlet ports and they are with four valves and uh, one Juma Air inlet port will pr uh, provide the Juma Air for three pumps and two inlet ports for totally six pumps and these two are two high pressure outlet ports and this one is uh, the unloading port. Here we can see the uh, German air regulators. And for testing, we need to uh, regulate the German air regulator to the uh, maximum German air pressure, 8 bar. Okay, now we see the first uh, test method and this one is pressure maintaining test. In this method, uh, when there is a pressure drop during the test, uh, the test machine will keep increasing the pressure uh, to the target pressure, for example, 1200 bar. The test machine will keep increasing the pressure to this set pressure. And in this method, uh, this Juman air unloading valve need to be closed. After we set the pressure we need and the test time, we can click start to start the test. As we can see, uh, the pressure is increasing and this is the test pressure curve. Now it's conducting the test. It will keep uh, maintain the set pressure in the test time we set. And then for the other three methods, these three methods, we need to open the human air and loading valve. And now let's see the pressure leakage test. Uh, for this method, uh, we need to set the, the allowable pressure drop. So uh, when the machine reaches the target pressure and if there is any uh, pressure drop uh, bigger than 10 bar, uh, the, uh, the test will stop and, and the test result is unqualified. And if uh, during the uh, pressure testing time, uh, the pressure drop is within 10 bar, uh, the pressure is qualified. Okay, now let's see the test. you see the test report is uh, generated automatically and now we see the pressure burst test in this method uh, we need to regulate the juvenile air pressure to the maximum a bar and then uh, the test machine will keep increasing the pressure to the maximum 1400 bar until the uh, test sample is bursted and then the test will stop. Okay, let's see the last test method cyclic test. Uh, in this test, we need to set the cyclic pressure and this is the maximum test pressure. Also, we need to set the lower limit pressure and this means uh, when the test pressure reached 1100 bar and the test machine will release the pressure to 10 bar and this is the cyclic time. This means uh, when the test, test machine reached 1100 bar uh, it will maintain two seconds and this is the number of cyclic and this is the real-time cyclic number display 
Now let's start the test. And now you see, after reaching uh, the, te the maximum pressure, the pressure will drop. Okay, after the, all the cycles, all the cycles are completed, uh, the test machine will stop automatically. Okay, click here, inquiry, history inquiry. And we can see all the tests we have uh, conducted. And click the one you need and click output query. And we can open the test report. You can see all the tests uh, data is here and with uh, a printer we can print the uh, test report out <laughs>